Now we enter Kemet's 11th dynasty, also known as the Theban dynasty. This is the era between 2130 years to 1991 years before Christ is born. Here we see the rule of five kings before the city of Thebes or Waset becomes the capital of Kemet. Now we enter Kemet's 12th dynasty. In this period, during 1991 years before Christ was born to about 1786 years before Christ is born, also known as the Tarsati dynasty or the Theban dynasty. Here we see the construction of the labyrinth. This is known as the world's biggest building for many years. This building had 3,000 rooms in it. 1,000 rooms were on the surface of the earth and 1,500 rooms were underground. This building still exists. Here we see the rule of King Sehetepibre Amen Nemhet I, who moves the capital of Kemet north to Eid Tawi. Then we see the rule of a queen, Queen Neferu, the great royal wife of Amenehet I. Then we see the rule of King Keperkare Senur Sret I, who orders the temple of Amen at Ipetsut or at Kanak to be rebuilt in stone. Then red granite obelisks are erected at northern Anu or at Heliopolis. These obelisks are the sign of resurrection. These are the sign or the symbols of Asa or Osiris. Then we see a major expedition again to put to God's land on the Somali coast by our pharaohs. Then the story of the Sunuhe is composed. Then we see the rule of King Nubkaure Amenhet II. He dedicates a temple in Sinai to the Gores Hathor or the Gores Het Heru. Then we see the construction of a white pyramid at Dashu or the White Pamir. Then there's regular commercial relations with Punt in Somali. Then we see the rule of King Kake Pere Senusret the second, who has good relations with the Mayonian Creed. Then we see the construction of a shining pyramid at El Lahud. Then Queen Nefert, the great royal wife of Senusret II, appears during this period. Then we see the resumption of more expeditions to Punt in the Somali coast. Then we see the reign of King Kakaure Senusret III, who runs military campaigns against the Nubians and Asiatics. Then we see the erection of strong Kemetic defensive fortifications along the Nubian frontier. Then we see major reorganization of Kemet's administrative systems. Then we see King Naimare Amen Nemhet III reign for a long 47 years during this dynasty. Then we see the construction of a black pyramid at Tashu or the Black Pamir. Then we see a construction of a major pyramid at Hawari during the same period. Then the construction of the Egyptian Labyrinth, the biggest building in antiquity. Then we see the explosion of copper mines in the Sinai Peninsula. Then we see massive irrigation and land reclamation projects in the Fayum Oasis. Then King Make Rure Amenemhet the fourth reigns for eight years. Then we see Queen Regent Sobkare Sebek Nefhure, the daughter of Amenhet the third, reigning during this period also. Then Kemet's monarchs of this dynasty are buried in pyramid tombs near Inebhej, or what is now called Memphis.
So, tribe, support our Sons of Assur channel. You know we're bringing the light. Like. Because you care, share. And don't wait another moment. Comment. So, tribe. Subscribe. Let us know, Mambo, on our socials below. Sawa? Kwaheri, So, tribe.